Hi friends. Welcome to 30, excuse me, 30 inks, 30 days, day 27. So near to the end. Look at that Momiji. Gorge. Us. Um, look at this. I'm, I'm excited to finish. Not because of the usual, like, oh, it's been doing this for a while, but because I get to look at them all, compare things. Here is the splat for Momiji. Gorgeous, lots of sheen. And let's go on to today, hooray! All right. Um, let me get this out of the way. We have I picked an ink already. I just grabbed it out of the box with my other supplies. And it is Faber Castell Electric Pink. Which is exciting, is it not? Okay, so we want a little bit of ink for sweating. Ready? A little bit of ink for writing. Great. Let's just write that. Zoom in, boop. Okay. It seems like a nice pink. Somehow warmer than I expected for something called electric. Maybe because electric makes me think neon, you know, like neon signs. Although it's not neon if it's pink. Obviously, because neon I think gives you blue, is that right? Well, whatever. Gorgeous. I love it. Oh, I didn't get a swatch card right here. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Ugh. I, I, don't worry, everything's fine. I didn't even do anything that was deserving of that. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Mm, it's, it's beating up and not, do you see it? You see that? Ugh. Here we go. That was awful though. Ooh. I can't write with that high angle. That's what makes this nib, the Fude nib, not great for me. This seems like not very watery.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Those of you with food anibs, can you do the high writing? I can't really. Pretty inks. Ugh. That's awful looking. 30 days. September 2024. Day 27. Man, I've been writing today too. Sometimes when I haven't been writing, my handwriting does this, but I have no excuse. Rubber, Castell, Electric, Pink, Sailor, Hikoro. I kind of feel silly writing Sailor Hikoro every day, but I probably won't remember that forever, and I'll look back on this and say, what pen did you use, dummy? Okay, looks good for some value of good. Um, get some water up in my syringe. And it's very, it is a very vibrant pink, that's for sure. I don't know if it's the one that I would call the most electric. We'll have to decide on that at the end. <laughs> it's kind of funny how much this Fuchsia de Magellan sticks out, given the... It's the only one with shimmer. <laughs> I think in general I didn't want to include shimmer inks, but I love that line of ink so much that I made an exception. But it's also possible that there just weren't that many. For me, I think the most electric is maybe this one. Or... This is dry enough. It's fascinating. Oh, you know what? This is looking really red, and I'm wondering if that's partly because it's like the goldish sheen on top of the pink. Because if you want pink to look more red, you add yellow to it, you know? Hmm. Hmm. Big brain. Or not, you know, I'd be totally wrong. It's almost like these little squares can't get enough ink on them to show the color, but. That's all right. Fun. 
Also, you have to excuse my nails. I'm in the middle of doing my nail polish. You know, like you need lots of coats. I only have one on. Okay, so here this is. This isn't dry yet, but I like what it's becoming. It's pretty, and it seems actually pink to me. Those seem like good things. Um, what are you? Ooh, I don't know what you are, but I don't want you there. Sorry. Um, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.